Hello everyone, welcome to External Star Channel. My name is Marek, as you already know, and today I will be unboxing and also reviewing this 1 to 12 scale model from GT Spirit. The code is GT460. It's a very nice Porsche and I'll let you know the specification a bit later. There will be a series of many uh, GT Spirit models. This is the only one in 1 to 12 scale. The rest will be 1 to 18. So today I really picked this big boy first because I'm really excited. Yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to do it today. So please stay in this video first. I will be unboxing. Yes, yeah? so removing it from the box. Then I will be reviewing it and then I will uh, give it some kind of score as in the past. So stay with me. All right, so let's first remove this tape, yeah, very nicely, gently. I don't want to destroy anything inside. And I expect there will be actually one more box. Yeah, this happy spirit, fancy box. Ah. Sometimes what I do is that I just put it upside down, yeah like this and then it slides out which is quite okay wow so nice black box of this fine 1 to 12 model car and you can already see it here gray color and <laughs> it should be really really beautiful yeah so let's now also open it here yeah, so let's remove the tape I hope this is the right side. Yeah, sometimes there are actually two sides and you need to pick the right one. Okay, let's try here on this side. Yeah. Okay, seems like I'm successful. And again, this trick by slowly removing this yeah, and I'm not actually I'm not removing this completely this uh, transparent plastic bag uh, just here maybe one third and then I can already open here this second paper box it can be sometimes a bit difficult yeah so let's just be careful, let's just be careful, let's... And where is my tool? Okay, I don't need any tool. Good. So, another box. This is now the Styrofoam shell. Excellent. And maybe the first look, yes, so do we want to have the first look? Probably yes. So, uh, we also need to cut here this little tape so let's just do it yeah very carefully and also on the other side don't forget there are two of them okay and now ooh, good 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 wow wow so big so nice beautiful color mm, I can still I can smell how new it is, yeah? so really a new release of this Porsche, nice grey Porsche GT3, yeah, so really, really nice, okay, wow, I don't know where to start, maybe here, let's check, we have four screws here, yeah, so four of them, and usually what, what I actually do is that uh, I put this back, I then reverse it yeah so like this then i unscrew it which sometimes can be a bit challenging let's remove the bottom of this styrofoam shell okay oh we had this uh this is a bit unexpected what is that yeah so you see those little things uh, I have never seen that before but anyway now we have this Porsche 911 
992 GT3 from GT Spirit 1 to 12 scale uh, in gray color. I hope I said it all. All right. Thank you, GT Spirit, for providing this one so that I can really review it here on my beautiful channel. And now, finally, remove it from the box. Okay. Sorry, I was a bit excited by this. Yeah. So every time when, when this happens, actually, I'm, I'm too excited. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I, I just um, should be more uh, gentle and politically correct. Okay, let's gently describe this model. Where to start? As usually, in the front. Okay, so let me change the camera. All right, so let's start here, as I said, in the front yeah, of this GT3 Porsche 911. And what you can see here is this air intake, which is perforated actually, yeah, so very nice part. And also uh, two air intakes here, also a perforated, nice photo etched probably part in black color, nicely paint. And then we have this license plate, which only says GT3. Maybe, in my opinion, yeah, at least maybe if I modi modify this car, I would put there a German license plate with this D, European Union, this square would be uh, blue, and then some German, uh, maybe uh, sh something from Stuttgart. Yeah? This is the city where they manufacture the real Porsche cars. Look at this Porsche logo, yeah? how nicely shiny it is, quite detailed, yeah? so not so bad. And then quite interesting and I don't know what it is yeah so it's only here once and I originally thought it's it was the uh, sensor for parking uh, but there is only one here and there is nothing here nothing here or there usually there are four of them there is only one if you know what it is just let me know maybe it's if if you want to plug in a hook and then uh, you want to tow this car I'm not entirely sure but what I already see here is this uh, gray color here, maybe you, you see it here. Okay, let me zoom. Look at this here. Yeah, a slight piece of glue or color on this black uh, part, which shouldn't be there, and definitely not. Yeah, so a lousy job here, a little bit. Uh, quality control didn't work, but it's just a small, small overlap of this gray color. Maybe the same here a little bit. Yeah. So if you are really into details, then of course uh, you would know this. Then let me also show you here this nice, oh, this nice headlamp. The inside is really beautiful. I see this, those four little lamps, LED in the middle. Wow, this is very detailed. I love it. And what about uh, the wheels? So do they turn? No, they don't turn. They just slightly rotate. Yeah, they spin, but not entirely. Just a little. Maybe if I loosen it a bit, have it uh, some force, then they would uh, spin. And then there is this brake caliper with Porsche logo on it. Also here, Porsche logo. Very nice wheels. I love it. I love them so much. And the tires, they say uh, Michelin. Okay, so also some nice details, the brake disc with those dots. Uh, this is very good, very good, I love it. And then this turning indicator here, okay? You see that this color is not really shiny, it's matte. And uh, also you see here this uh, door handle, which is beautiful, and then uh, the side mirror with two colors, the regular gray and then also black, yeah, and then I usually test this like, okay, the glass, yeah. On those resin cars, this glass is usually very thin and you need to be careful, yeah. So it's really for display only. Look at this beautiful wheel in the back, the same probably as in the front. And then the back of the car, the rear part, two exhausts, yeah, so definitely this is not an electric car. Uh, why should they have those exhausts otherwise? And then, then again, on, only on one side, we see this circle. It's not here, only here. It's on both sides and yeah, 
uh, probably I should know Porsche more. There will be many comments like study the car before you do the review, study it. Uh, actually, what I do is that uh, I'm reviewing those model cars, not the real cars, yeah? so, and the quality. So here, Porsche. And I like this design when they have this rear light all across the rear part. There is one line here, which is quite interesting that they don't have any red parts. Yeah? So this is probably the American version, or I don't know how to explain that. But usually in Europe, you need to have the parking lights in the red color. Yeah? So not these. These are some additional. But usually also here, you need to have at least part of this whole light in red color and also there is this third additional parking or braking light um, which is also cool only the color is maybe too shiny yeah too shiny look at that yeah maybe a little bit orange it should be a bit more transparent like a real light this is just a very solid color yeah and then there is this Oh, let me maybe change the angle a little bit so that you see it. Again, photo etched part uh, yeah, with gaps or with this net or how to say that photo etched uh, grill. And yeah, in the back, look at that. There are no uh, seats in the back. There is there are only, let's say, there's empty space maybe for luggage or whatever you want to put there. And then in the front, oh, look at that. Yeah, so I can't open the door actually. I can't do that, but there is a nice steering wheel. All the details, oh, it's so heavy. Let me put it there for, for a moment like this. Okay, so this one is from Resin. It's quite heavy. I think they usually put some weights uh, inside of it like, uh, I don't know what exactly it's some kind of metal uh, so that then it's really super heavy yeah because otherwise it wouldn't be so heavy and this one is like at least two kilos um i'm quite sure of that yeah at least two kilos but look at that this porsche wow it's it's really beautiful okay so maybe one more attempt to show you the interior and the steering wheel from this angle maybe is it possible yeah the armrest with Porsche logo, clearly seen. Steering wheel. And the transmission. Oh, it's manual. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. It's a manual transmission. Yeah, so crazy. Is it even possible? I don't know. Okay, so overall, very nice. And what about the roof? This carbon fiber. Oh, I would say it's quite nicely done. Nice imitation of carbon fiber. All right, so I, I don't want to make any fingerprints anywhere, yeah, because I usually, so this is why I hold those models like here underneath, because then if the fingerprints are here uh, on the undercarriage, you don't care because you don't see them. Look at that, yeah, so this is flat, nothing really extraordinary. Oh. Look at this, maybe there's a bit of dirt from the styrofoam box on this uh, tire. I'll need to fix this and clean this, but it shouldn't be a big problem. So guys, now uh, the final rating. Yeah? So this model is really, really beautiful. Awesome, I love it. Uh, yeah, and now what could be a bit better? Uh, as I said here, a little bit overlapping color, this gray color. That's probably the only small mistake I found on this one. Yeah? So everything else is perfect, detailed, and overall this the presence of this 1 to 12 scale car, this is this is really awesome. Yeah? So as I said, I would also change the uh, here the license plate in the back in the front. Yeah? So this default one that came is not really satisfying. I really prefer real license plates not just this one with uh, the model uh, definition. Okay, so overall, okay, it can also, wow, look at that. So finally now the wheels, so first they put a little bit of glue so that they don't uh, spin, but then if you uh, use a little bit of force, then they really spin and wow, it's this 
it's beautiful. It's a shame that um, the, the, there is no steering, but of course this is a resin model, and it's about uh, it's between 200 and 250 US dollars or euro usually. Yeah, so if you are looking for uh, a die-cast model of this car, they are usually over 500 euro. Yeah, so this is a half price, and if they are only in the shelves, then probably you should go for resin, yeah? So if you don't play with them, if you don't open the doors every day, like, I, I don't do that, yeah? So once I get them, I put them here to the shelves, and then they are there forever, or un, at least until I decide to sell them uh, or change them for another model, yeah? which can be also uh, the case for this one. Who knows? I don't know, yeah? So now I quite like it, and maybe it will take some time before I decide to do something with this one. All right, so again, thank you GT Spirit for providing this one. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful model. And uh, I'm glad that I could review it here on this channel. So first, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, because there will be many, many more models. I have at least 10 more now in the pipeline. Second, uh, let me know in the comments what you, do you think uh, about this one specifically. Yeah? So I'm always interested what you think. I, I'm trying to reply to all the comments where uh, there is something interesting, something new that I, you can also educate me. Yeah? So for example here, this circle in the front, what it is. Yeah? So uh, uh, instead of searching internet, I prefer to read your comments. Let's grow up together, guys. Okay, so this one overall, the rating would be like 8 out of 10, just because yeah, this, uh, the, this color overlap, but 8, this is a nice rating, really, really nice rating. So a great model, great value for your money, because as I said, it's not that expensive. So you should definitely consider this Porsche GT3 911 992 etc etc yeah <laughs> okay so thank you guys for watching and see you next time bye bye